What is going on everybody? I decided to film this intro outside today because why not? Today I'm going to show you how to move a simple object using the WASD keys or the arrow keys. This should be a really simple tutorial so if you are just starting out with Unity today then you should be able to follow along. Here we go! If you have any questions during this tutorial, be sure to post them down in the YouTube comments. If your question involves posting a picture, be sure to post it in the Discord server which is linked down below. Also on Discord we have our Showcase of the Week, and today we are celebrating JoJo's first ever project with Blender. If you want to have your project showcase on Showcase of the Week, be sure to go to the Discord server and post in Show Your Content. So we are going to start in an empty scene right here. Now I am using Unity version 2020, but if you have an older version that works just fine. So basically, we are going to create an object that we want to move. In this case, I'm going to create a cube. So I'm going to drag my mouse over to the plus key right here. I'm going to click, hover over 3D object, and then select cube. I'm going to click, and I'm going to hit the F key to focus into it. This is the object that we want to move in this case. Now, just for environmental purposes, I'm going to make a ground underneath it. So I'm going to hit the plus key again hover over 3D object and then select plane. And now I'm going to select the cube, drag it up a little bit, and there we go. And this is optional, but I'm actually going to make some materials to color them. So I am going to make a new material, I'll call it red, and I'm going to make the material red. So now the cube is red, I'm going to hit the plus key again under project, select material and I'm going to say green and this will make the grass which that's what the plane is going to be so we have the grass right here and then we have the red cube now all we have to do is make the script that will move our cube so I'm going to right click in the project window hover over create and then left click on C sharp script and I'm going to name this move cube hit enter and now the script will compile for a few seconds. And if I were to right click on it and then select open C sharp project, this should open up any text editor that you have linked to Unity. For me, it's Visual Studio. For you, it might be something like Mono Develop or something else. It really doesn't matter which one you use. So with the project open, I'm now going to actually go back to Unity. Now that we have opened up the C Sharp project, I'm going to double click on the script and this will actually open the script right here. So we have our script right here. Now we actually do not need the start method here. The start method is called before the first frame update, which means that it is called once at the start of the game. But we want to be able to move our cube the entire game, so I'm just going to get rid of this. There we go. I'm also going to get rid of the first two lines, System Collection, System Collections Generic. We don't need those lines at all. We really only need the update method. And the update method is, one, is, is ran once every frame, which means that we will be able to move our cube the entire game. So, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make two variables. They are both going to be float. So I'm going to say float let's say x direction. So we are going to make one float for the x direction and one float for the y direction. And the float is basically a number, both they're either negative or positive, that can be a decimal. So I'm going to say float x direction equals input dot get axis. And then I'm going to say horizontal. There we go. So basically get axis, it will detect if you're typing in WASD or the arrow keys and it will assign a number based on it. So for example, if I'm typing the A key, horizontal will be, I believe, negative one and it will smooth out to be negative one. If I were to hit the D key, then it would go over to positive one. So now I'm going to say float Y direction equals input, whoops, input dot get axis and then for this I'm going to say vertical. And this will do the same thing for the y-axis, the W and the S keys, as well as the up and down arrows. So now, now I have my directions. I basically now have to put these directions into a vector 3. Now what is a vector 3? A vector 3 
is a variable that takes in three inputs, an x, a y, and a z. We're going to use this to our advantage to create a movement vector for our cube. So we're going to start by saying vector3 move direction equals new vector3 and then parentheses. So we are going to put our three inputs into these parentheses. So I'm going to say x direction and then for the y I'm going to say 0, 0.0 f. Now essentially for this, in this case, the y is up and down. So we don't want the cube moving up and down. We want the cube moving forward and backward. So we're going to say y direction in this case. Now I might have just confused you by putting the y direction input into the z argument here for vector 3. I'm actually going to change this to z direction just to make it a bit less confusing. So we have z direction inside of our vector 3 here. So now the final thing that we need to do is we need to move our cube. So we, so we are going to say transform dot position whoops transform dot position and then we have to add our move direction to the positions we are going to say plus equals okay now we are going to say move direction great so we have move direction so let's save this and see what happens so I'm going to hit control s to save and let's bring it back into unity now the script is going to compile I'm going to click on cube here and I'm going to move the script, the move cube script, onto the cube. So click and drag onto cube. So now we have the script. Let's see what happens when I hit play. So I clicked on maximize on play so that it takes up the whole screen and I'm going to click play. And let's just see what happens. Now as you can see the camera is not aligned to where we want it to be. So I'm just going to select main camera, hit F to focus to it. And now I'm just going to move the camera over here. I'm going to be sure to set my pivot points to center and global. I'll just move the camera over here and then I will rotate the camera so that it is in my game view. Just like that. So let's see what happens. I'm going to hit play. And awesome. So we are now moving the cube really, really fast. And we want to be able to control what the speed of our cube is. See, right now, I don't even know where the cube is anymore. So here's what we're going to do. We need to be able to customize what our speed is. So I'm going, so I'm going to go back into Visual Studio. And let's make a variable for this. So I'm going to say public float speed. Let's set it default to 0.1. And let's see what happens. So now on this line, transform.position, I'm going to say times speed. So this will multiply our speed times our variable. Now I have to put an F here, 0.1F, so that Unity knows that it is a float. So let's go back into Unity. And if we were to click on our cube and go to our script here, the move cube script, you can see that the speed is already set to 0.1 by default. But I can change this to anything I want. I'll keep it at 0.1. So Let's hit play. I'm actually going to not select maximize on play just to have more control when we play. So when we hit play, as we can see, the cube is now moving a lot more slowly. So let's say that I were to hit W and D at the same time, it would actually move the cube diagonally as opposed to just up and down. And that's because we are using get axis and it basically normalizes the two values so that it allows you to go diagonally when you need to, as you can see. Now this also works with the arrow keys as well. However, let's say that we wanted to add in physics to this, or let's say that we wanted it to collide with things. So if I were to make another object, let's say a cylinder, and I were to place this cylinder here, if we were to hit play and we were to try to run into the cylinder and see if the cube can hit it, the cube just goes right through the cylinder and that's because the scripts that we wrote does not work with physics. So here's what I'm going to do. 
I already made a video on how to do this exact same thing but add in physics, and I'm going to link that video in the description. So if you want to add physics to this by using rigid bodies, be sure to go watch that video. But anyways, this is the really simple tutorial on how to move a cube using the WASD keys. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.